What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this new mixtape from Conway called Look What I Became. Now Conway is a member of Griselda Records and is also the older brother of the co-founder Westside Gun. And we all know Griselda Records has been absolutely killing shit for a couple of years now, man. Especially this year, they put out plenty of dope releases, and this one definitely carries on with that because it's gonna give you that traditional hip hop with that gritty gangsta ass content that some of us just love. That's something I like about Griselda is that as a label, they're not fucking around with who they sign, they're always putting on good artists, and they really are delivering a very constant and consistent sound rather than playing around too much. So that's actually when this album is at its best, when it's playing to those strengths. Like when he shows love to Wu-Tang over minimalistic production on the Alchemist produced track No Women No Kids by Spitting. If I need a brick cook, I know the chef like RZA stacking all this cream they trying to inspect the method. I thought that was a dope ass line and you can pick up on all the Wu names within those bars. And he's also repping for Buffalo all over this album man. Like when he spits, who the hardest in the streets, motherfucker you know it's us. I ain't bring New York back, I put Buffalo in the front. He says this on Hawks, which kind of sounds like this slinky spy beat, you know what I mean? It sounds like something out of a spy or action show from the 80s. This beat comes from Case Slugga, so right away these were two of my favorite tracks. And really there's just no shortage of quality production on here. You know that just by looking at who's involved. You even have DJ Muggs on Black Spoons. This is on some of that horror movie shit as far as the sound goes. And Conway is matching that up with some gruesome bars about pistol whipping people in the cheekbones and I got some frail ass pointy cheekbones here man so if someone did that to me my shit would be wide busted open but to move forward with that man all these things are what Griselda fans come for you look at the track list and you see Tito's back featuring Benny the Butcher and West Side Gun over Derringer production you already know this shit is gonna be fire and it is by far one of the best songs on this mixtape I especially like how Conway and Benny are working these back and forth flows, spitting about selling that work, swinging through New York like Peter Parker, busting guns, just that grimy shit all around that you would expect. Well, West Side Gun is on here handling the shit talking portion of the song. So this one came together really well, fits in nicely with the songs that I already said I liked. And keeping with that quality shit that you expect from Griselda, of course they show love to some wrestling, man, that old school WWF wrestling, not WWE. WWF for those of us that remember there's the RIP Owen interlude on here showing love to Owen Hart one of the best to ever do it I always miss him man whenever wrestling discussion comes up because I liked him back in the day he had a pretty funny stint when he was known as Nugget he was part of the Nation of Domination I'm gonna stop before I spend five minutes talking about Owen Hart but it is what it is man these are things that I just connect with when it comes to Griselda I like when they make the pop culture references I like the wrestling references I like that gritty grimy traditional sound they just make it for people like me, man. Well, f what am I talking about? They don't make it for people like me, man. I'm washed up from the country-ass side of Canada, man, over in Nova Scotia. Like, I ain't a gangster thug at all. But you know what I mean? I just like the style of music. I grew up with this style of music. I get their references. That's what I mean. But, you know, they're doing it for the streets. They're making this hard-ass music. I definitely fuck with it. But I would say songs I didn't like on here are the ones that are a little bit less Griselda-like. So... On half of it, I feel like that trap-infused organ production just doesn't sound good with Conway. I don't know. I just feel like he sounds much more natural and effortless on that other style of production. Although I do understand him wanting to switch it up and come through with a banger. And even Vino D, this one has a pretty bland, non-distinct R&B hook. I just felt like it felt out of place on the whole mixtape compared to everything else that was going on. But hey, again, just like that trappish joint, I guess he wanted to mix it up. And the production on this was alright. I recognize that sample, I don't know where it's from, is kind of twangy, kind of just a repetitive loop, not too much else goes on it. Uh, but I did like how we do have Dave East and Jim Jones on here dropping quality features. Dave East, when he does his solo records, I find they're hit and miss. But when he's good, he's really good and he sounded dope on here. And of course, uh, we got to show love to Jim Jones who put out a great slept on project earlier this year with El Capo. I feel like not enough people are showing that shit love, but he went off on that. The Heatmakers had quality production, but yeah, now I'm talking about a different album. But I did still kind of like this song. Conway had some good lines on here, like, if we can't get to him, then we go off his man, riding with that Drake, but it ain't Aubrey Graham. Thought that shit was kind of clever. And also this one when he says, send a nigga to his wake, it only cost a band, then I get MIA like a Dolphins fan. Because a Dolphins fan, like that works on multiple level because the Dolphins are from Miami obviously, and I think most Miami Dolphins fans 
are kind of MIA right now, man. They're missing in action. They're not talking too much shit or anything, because as of right now, they are 0-3. I'm not sure when I'm going to edit this video and get it out, but I, I don't know who they play this Sunday, but I doubt they're going to win because it's the fucking Dolphins. But yeah, man, you know, this is by no means a groundbreaking project with exceptional content. Really, the only content here that stuck out a lot is on You Made It, where he actually gets kind of deep and is showing love to women out there who might be in a hard place, maybe single mothers, maybe they lost their spouse or whatever. You know, just kind of a nice soft track over the static select beat that's very jazzy thought that was pretty cool but as a whole this mixtape isn't really anything that's overly exceptional like I didn't feel like I was hearing a lot of unique stuff here they just stayed in their lane played it kind of safe with this one but it works so I'm gonna go with a 3.5 out of 5 and I believe Conway does have an actual album in the works and I'm sure that'll be even better so that's not to say this mixtape isn't worth your time 3.5 out of 5 is still good check it out can't see you being too disappointed if you're a Griselda fan maybe some of those things I've mentioned like the R&B joint and the Trappish joint might not really be your type of thing. But overall, man, I think it is up to that Griselda quality. Worth a listen. And let me know in the comments section what you think. <clears throat> man, okay, we're at the end. I'll get a drink of water later. I'm not going to do it right here. So anyway, shout me out. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this project. And of course, make sure you do that good YouTube and social media stuff where you show me love and you show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I am going to get a drink of water. And I will see you next time.